Hi there, Gemini. Thanks for joining me uh, for the July of 2017 readings. This, I'm using the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, either, uh, which I've created, and I'm also going to then pull up Animal Totem card, which is also my own creation. You can find all that stuff on my website. Um, this Morgan Greer thing is out because I do offer those lots of love readings that focus specifically on love. And they're available on Vimeo on demand for two dollars and some change. It's a two different perspective reading, two readings in one. Um, you can find out about that above in the Eye in the Sky with my website or below. I'll have a link. So if you're interested in specifically love, check that out. And by the way, Venus is in your sign this month, so it's, love could be in the air. And on the 18th of, Ju of July, there's going to be a Venus trying Jupiter involving... Um, it's, it could be luck, it could be money, it could be love. It's very favorable, and your sign is involved in it. So that 18th, remember that t remember that date. Okay, Gemini's. Gemini for July of uh, 2017. July, Gemini's. July 2017, uh, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. One more card for Gemini, and we'll start the reading. All right, there we go. All righty then, let's get this together. Well, Ace of Swords in Reverse was the first card out, so that's that's a disappointment. But the rest of the spread is fabulous, so I wouldn't really worry about it. You have Ace of Swords in Reverse, uh, which is, okay, this is a victory card, you know, victory, triumph, in reverse, so a setback, a disappointment, a setback, but followed it up right away with the chariot. I mean, phew. So, Chariot is the highest success card in the deck, the highest victory card in the entire deck. So, whatever this was, there was something here that didn't happen. Ace of, you know, you lost out, but that's only because, well, it could be the same opportunity coming back again with the Six of Cups here. It absolutely could. So, it might circle around again, cycle around again, and come out. Or, this could be something completely, my first instinct was, well, that was just chump change anyway. You know, this is what's the real deal. This wasn't for you because this was coming along. Whatever this chariot is, it's fantastic. And it says a decision is being made in July, and in the seventh month of July. And I do believe it's going to be something really great for you. Uh, three of Cups says there'll be a reason to celebrate, or it can say get out and celebrate, get out and socialize, get out and be around people. Um, my nail polish is peeling off. I'm just going to peel it off. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm talking about the Three of Cups. This also can reference specific things like holidays. In the United States, it's the Fourth of July is a big holiday, or um, a wedding, or somebody's birthday, or some other kind of big event that might be coming up. Um, some of you, or class reunions, some of you can meet somebody, run into somebody at your class reunion or something. You could definitely run into somebody at this event or gathering, and it does feel like you might know them from your past or your childhood or even school days. And it's the Knight of Pentacles. And he's favorable for, in some way. I'm not exactly sure how. Um, usually the Pentacle people are more money-oriented. You know, it, it could have to do more with money, but it could have to do with just about anything with the uh, Pentacle people. So, um, but he's favorable, and you, there is some past connection between the two of you. You knew each other before, whether friendship, lover, I'm not sure, but you knew each other before. Um, you thought this was a stalemate. You thought that, that when this happened, you were like, oh, well, that's the end of the story. Well, guess what, Gemini? It's not the end of the story, especially with Venus in your sign. People are really attracted to you when you have uh, Venus in your sign, and then that aspect on the 18th. You know, the moon card did show up, so it does talk about... Your intuition would be right on this month, but also whenever the moon shows up, I want to mention the moon. We're going to have a full moon in um, Capricorn on July 8th or 9th, depending on where you live, and then a new moon in Leo on the 23rd. So those could be also key dates for you. The astrology is really getting you this month, lining up with you. Oh, this is what I wanted to say. Because we have the baby on this card of the sun, the sun's excellent. You're shining, you're glowing, you're happy. 
when Venus is in your sign, and the Six of Cups, when they show up right next to each other like this, this could absolutely have to do with children. In childhood, children, if pregnancy, if you're trying to get pregnant. Somebody out there is trying to get pregnant and end up having triplets. That's what I picked up really strong. <laughs> so yeah, you want to you have a baby, look out. Look out, here, here they come, here comes trouble. There's a three of them there. Um, somebody's going to have triplets. I'm picking that up really strong. Uh, but it doesn't, it, not everybody, of course. That wouldn't apply to everybody. But, um, yeah, so this one, this stuff shows, this could be a baby shower, too. Or it could be your second child or your third child. Three children. You know, because I got, there's two children here and one there. That's three children. And then we got the three here, you know, so... I'm picking up like three children too, so it could be your third child, you know, too. That might just be it, not triplets necessarily. But for somebody, it's triplets, I'm sure, okay? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's favorable, it's time for joy, it's time for celebration. This isn't whatever this is, this little disappointment, Pisha, move on, because the chariot's coming, baby. Chariot is, uh, the wheels are, you know, rolling right along, and things are rolling right along. Okay, let's go ahead and get over and do your animal totem card for our Geminis. Uh, don't forget, if you're interested in the love reading, it's on Vimeo specifically. you got that Venus energy this month, so I do talk about that. Um, you can find that in my website, which is a little circle up here in the sky, or below, um, below the reading. Uh, I have tons of stuff on my website, so please do check it out. If you like these decks, you can check out the decks. I have readings. I have books. There's just everything there, so take time to check it out if you can. All right, what is going on for Gemini for Animal Totem? Oh, the Firefly or Lightning Bug. I love Lightning Bugs. They are so magical. Okay. Fairy lights sparking, sparkling in the twilight sky. Each array a unique signature. The call of a soulmate. Your individual waveform attracts the vibration that you match. Well, that's what I'm saying. This was not a vibrational match. That's all. So what? You know, move on. Uh... The vibrant when the vi when the real vibrational match shows up, then it's like whew, you'll know, you know, you 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 know when it's when it's right, when it's true, you're gonna know, and and there and magic when when the firefly card comes out, there's always gonna be magical things happening. So if you're definitely if you're invited to some kind of big party celebration, something like that, then you totally would want to go. Okay, everybody. Hey, Gemini's. Thank you guys for everything you do by liking, sharing, supporting. Subscribing, which you can do right here if you haven't, um, and commenting, I love the comments, and donating, which makes the readings free, and I do appreciate it. Check out my website, look at all the stuff I have. It all goes into making these readings free every month, uh, different channels that come through the website. So I do appreciate you so much. Remember that you are Love and Beauty Incarnate, and have a great month of July, and I'll speak to you soon.